This video will demonstrate the installation procedures for an automatic technology GDO6 Easy Roller Roll-Up Door Opener. Before you start, make sure that you've read the installation sheet and safety instructions. The opener can be installed on the right or left, so choose the side that has enough side room and access to power. Once you have chosen which side to install on, clear the work area and place a 2 metre exclusion zone around it. Do not install the opener on a door incorporating a wicket door. Check the condition of the door. Do this by moving the door up and down. It should travel smoothly, be well balanced and easy to operate by hand. Lift the door to about halfway, release it and the door should stay in place. If not, ensure a properly skilled professional tensions and services the door. Now you have checked the door and it is time to open up the packages and check that you have all the items. Ensure you have the correct tools on hand to complete your installation. Firstly, install the locking bar covers if there are locking bar holes in the guides. Secondly, fit the weight bar to the centre of the door's bottom rail. Check the door rolls up neatly and is square on both ends. The door is now ready for pinning. Close the door fully, then roll the door back a third of a turn. Mark and drill two holes into the valley of the curtain on the drum wheel as shown. Repeat this for both sides of the door. Position the fixings as low as possible within the valley of the curtain. Test the tension of the door again by lifting to halfway and releasing. The door should stay in place. At the end opposite to where the opener will be fitted, check that the U-bolt is tightened securely. Open the door completely and tie safety ropes around the door approximately 300mm from each end. Do not tie the ropes too tight as they will damage the curtain. Place a door stand under the door at the end you will mount the opener. Use a pen to mark the position of the U-bolt in the door bracket and the position of the door bracket on the wall. Remove the U-bolt and saddle from the door bracket. Then remove the door bracket, allowing the door to rest on the support. Switch the opener to manual by pulling the manual release cord down. Slide the opener over the door axle and into the drum of the door. Make sure the opener drive forks are engaged with the drum wheel spokes. You can now refit the door bracket using the marks as a guide. Fasten the axle and opener to the bracket with the U-bolt and tighten the nuts. Remove the door stand and the safety ropes. Connect the power cord, but do not switch on. Secure the cord away from any moving objects so that it cannot be damaged. Whilst the opener is still disengaged, pull the door up and down to make sure that it still runs freely. Start by moving the door to the halfway position. Re-engage the opener by pulling the manual release cord down until you hear a click. Turn on power to the opener and remove the button cover. The red close limit LED will start flashing. Now you can start setting the door limits. Press and hold the close button and the door should start closing. If the door opens, release the close button and press the operate button once. This will change the direction of the opener. Press the close button again to begin closing the door. When the door is just touching the ground, release the close button and press set to record the position. Now the green open limit LED will start flashing. Press the open button until the door is nearing the top of the opening. Once at the desired height, press set to record the position. Please be aware that the door will now automatically close, open and close to calculate the safety obstruction force. After this, the operate button will function. To code a remote, press and hold the door code button. Press a button on the remote for two seconds, release for two seconds, and press the same button again for two seconds. Release the door code button. To test, press this button and it will activate the opener.
For coding of additional accessories and functions, refer to the installation sheet. Now it's time to run the safety tests. To test the close cycle, press the remote button to open the door. Place a piece of timber approximately 40mm high on the floor directly under the door. Close the door. The door should strike the object and reopen. Additionally, place the opener's carton in the centre of the doorway, then close the door. The opener should readily reverse. To test the open cycle, with the door in the closed position, press a remote button to start opening the door. When the door reaches approximately halfway, firmly grab the door's bottom rail with your hand and the door should stop. If the door does not readily reverse when closing or stop when opening, the force may be excessive and need adjusting. In cases of emergency, the door can be put into manual mode and open by hand. To test the manual release mechanism, pull down on the manual release cord until you hear a click. If difficult to do so, reset the door limits by following the instructions in the installation sheet. By this stage, you have successfully completed installation and setup of your Easy Roller. If there are any issues, you can refer to the troubleshooting guide in your installation manual or refer to our website automatictechnology.com.au.